On my first year as a bus driver in London, I get 14.74 an hour and we are contracted to 38 hours a week. That makes 560 pounds a week. So that's like 29,000 pounds a year. So that's how much we make on a regular basis. But of course, there is more. 29,000, you might think that's a bit too low, which I agree with you totally. But that's the figures on the PayPal. When you actually get into the work, each duty pays different amount of money. So you will end up getting way more than 29,000. So I will give you guys a little example I got my little booklet here which is it looks like a passport but it's not a passport I'm on a rotor for the bus I'm driving at the moment so this is my two years worth of work which is all on here so I know what I'm doing for two years let's say I'm doing duty 450 duty 450 pays 11 hours and nine minutes but in reality i will only work for like seven eight hours and get paid for 11 hours you get my point how did i become a bus driver first of all what i've done is i went online i looked at different jobs and bus driving job came across to me then i applied it was very simple i just put my name and address applied that's it and they called me in for the interview on the interview what you do is they make you drive a van you drive the van around if you pass that it's not like a test they just want to see if you can drive a big vehicle before you get into the job and you do like a little quick maths and english test it is very basic basic it's like simple maths test 10 plus 10 minus 5 stuff like that it was very easy after that stage what happens is of course you, they do you do get checked by doctors you go to a doctor they check your eyesight your health and all that stuff they're making sure that you're fit for the work after you do that you get into training training of course you need to get the bus license if you have the bus license you don't have to train you already got the license anyway Anyway, but if you, if you don't have the license like me you, you, you're gonna get trained i think my training took around a month until i got my bus license i didn't know anything about driving a bus so they did teach me everything very well and my instructor was the best instructor in Arriva company then what happened is we had a classroom training because you have to pass theory and there's cpc tests to carry the passengers in london if you want to drive a bus you need to get the bus license and a cpc they are all very easy i know it might sound scary but it's actually not it's very easy the tests are very easy you can just pass them like this and you can become a bus driver i think for around the week we had a classroom training of course i would pass everything on the first time the theory side of it at least so I did pass theory in one go, in one week. Then they train you on how to drive a bus. Then you go into a um, driving test, which that took, I think, around three weeks. They train you for three weeks. My instructor was Mo. He was the best instructor in that company. After that, I had my bus test, which I passed on the second one. Unfortunately, not the first one. <laughs> I'll be honest. And subscribe, please. I'll put up a picture of me passing the test, as you can see. Because once you get your bus license, you go straight go back to, to the garage that you picked they will train you on the route you get a mentor which will he will stay with you for like a week but my mentor stayed with me for four days and i was fine after that it was very exciting at the beginning it's not exciting anymore it's like every job after your mentor they just leave you alone you just get the bus and drive around basically and just do your job so everything took around like a month or two something like that and i was out on the roads driving the bus on my own with passengers <laughs> And now I just want to show you guys a day in the life of me working as a bus driver. So let's go and start working. So guys, we are heading towards work now. Today is 32 degrees, I think. Something around there. It gets really hot in the cab. We do struggle in these weather. And when it's too cold, it gets too cold, of course. The heaters never work in those buses. I'm going to start at 5. Time is 4.15. We've got 45 minutes. I do like to go a little bit early to work just in case you never know what's gonna happen and guys we finally made it to our workplace and here's our duty card notice of events by the way guys, if you're starting this job, you're going to need this booklet. So when you open it, you can put your duty card here. It goes right here. You can put your duty record card here. You can put your pen here, all the bits and pieces. So you're going to need this. This is going to save your life. Make sure you get it. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm going to start at 5.22. Go on my break at 7.38. I don't know if you guys can see that. Then I'm going to start back at 8.58 and finish at 1.00. 0145 here's my duty card for today everyone's complaining about the weather today apparently some drivers went home i just want to say one thing though it is really hot and 
Can you guys see that noise? You see how noisy it is while I'm driving. Also, there, everything is going on. The, the heat, the air comes on, the fan is on, but it's still not helping. It is really hot. And now, what I have to do is check around the bus. So let's go check the bus guys. We're gonna check the interior first. Turn bike lane station. Look at the mess you guys done. Look at this. This is what we have to do. Let's look at the upper deck quickly. Hopefully the upper deck is clean, but I'll doubt it. So. As you can see, public of London keep the bus very clean. I'm done checking the bus, the interior of the bus. I'm gonna check the exterior as well. We're looking for any damage. Of course, all the buses are damaged. Look at the coolant level, it is all right. The exhaust is here, very strong. Tires have air in them, they all look nice and healthy. Uh, this one is okay too. In the check around, check the indicators, check if the fuel cups there. Yep, 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 everything is good in place. I think that's me done. Now, what I have to do is do my second lap. I'm lucky that I'm starting late this week because if I started early in the morning, that sun it kills you in here, especially when this shot as well. You don't want to be here. Don't be this guy. Guess what happened? I got stuck behind that one, like half an hour. Tried calling them, no one got back to me. I was gonna ask about the diversion, no one got back to me. Got stuck behind that one. 30 minutes late there. I had to wait, learn about the diversion, five minutes there. So I'm behind like 40 minutes at this point. I've done the journey, went back, and the controller, controllers finally decided to call me. I understand it's night time, it's one o'clock nearly. They said, go to Oakwood. That's where I am at the moment. And start from there. So I didn't do this line, didn't do this part. So I'm gonna start from here, go to my last stop and take the bus back to the garage and I'm done. Which is perfect. But it was a bit stressful today. Hello, let me sign it quickly. What's are day today? Whoa, it was now I am finally done. You know what I like about this job? No two days are the same. That's that's what I like about this job. Today was one of the crazy days again. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour around the garage. I'm gonna show you the canteen. This is our canteen. This is where all the drivers come, chill, relax. You got microwaves, fridges, all that. You got pool table. We got a cafe, there's seating areas everywhere, there's couches, there's TV and whatnot. As you can see it's quite massive and big. There's also there's upstairs, there's a snooker table. I think that's a snooker table. I think there's a pool table upstairs, the big one. But yeah, that's how it is. Here you go. That's a tour of the garage. You go upstairs, there's... That's where the big pool table is. Are here. So now we can leave this place and come back again tomorrow. <laughs> See you guys, all the buses are pulling in. They're all gonna be parked inside the garage outside. Thank you for watching guys. Please remember to subscribe and leave a like on the video. In 30 days, or should I say in one month, from this job expect to earn between two grand to three grand. And this money is after tax. On average, you will get around 2.2 to 2.5, somewhere around like that. I can't share the exact figures because we are not allowed apparently. So I'm not gonna do that. But once I leave the job, I'll show it to you guys then. Hopefully you enjoyed that little video of me working as a London bus driver. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys soon. Peace. <laughs> Mr. T
below he uploads